striker John O'Flynn made a welcome return to the Cork City team for their clash with Waterford United at Turner's Cross after missing five matches because of a hamstring injury. George O'Callaghan took his place in the City midfield and played for the entire match. For Waterford United, captain Chris Deans was fit to play despite being sidelined during the week with flu. The first goal-scoring opportunity of the match fell to Waterford United. After two minutes, James Chambers sent the ball through for Ian Freyer. Freyer raced through, but his shot was impressively parried by City keeper Mick Devine. But after that scare, Cork City found their rhythm, and when they carved out a goal-scoring chance after eight minutes, they took it. Colin O'Brien flicked the ball to O'Flynn. The 23-year-old cut inside full-back Pat Flynn, and then hammered the ball past Waterford goalkeeper Shane Dunphy and into the back of the net. Dunphy was on hand to prevent City from taking a 2-0 lead into the break. Ten minutes from half-time, he parried a free kick from O'Callaghan. O'Flynn was withdrawn at half-time as a precaution, and so Dennis Behan took his place up front and quickly made an impression with the second goal for City. In the 58th minute, O'Callaghan sent in an excellent cross to Neil Finn. The former Waterford United player lobbed the ball over Dunphy, and the onrushing Behan headed it into the back of the net. The Blues finished the game with 10 men. Full-back John Hayes was sent off with three minutes of normal time remaining after picking up his second yellow card for a foul on O'Callaghan. Behan had the ball in the back of the net again in injury time. Joe Gamble sliced the ball through to Behan, but his goal was ruled out for offside. But the two goals from O'Flynn and his substitute Behan were enough to secure three points for Cork City, lifting defending champions to joint second place in the Premier Division table.